So the first strategy I'm gonna specifically walk you through is the off-site strategy. And this is the most marathon sort of strategy, so the most long-term gains and the least effort over the long term, but it may take a little bit to get it moving. And offsite is also a really broad category. I'm not gonna dive too deeply into it because it really does have an unlimited range of options of where you can promote your Instagram account to. Just anywhere that is not Instagram is considered offsite. I will, however, go into a couple of specifics for you and walk through a couple of ideas that may prompt you to think outside what you're already thinking and have a few extra avenues to advertise your Instagram account in. So on your screen right now, you can see that there are five dot points that I'm gonna walk you through. The first one is on your website. So if you currently have a website for your business, it's really important that you get your Instagram button up on the website so that people who are finding your website organically can also find your Instagram account and be able to follow you and keep up to date with your pitches on your Instagram account. It also really helps get that follow account up if you've got a decent amount of traffic to your website. You can see in brackets I have www.instafollowbutton.com because this is by far the best website for you to get a button to put on your website for people to click and be able to follow you on Instagram. The reason I like this website right here is because it's a one-click follow button, meaning they don't have to click on the button, go to your Instagram page, and then follow you. They don't even have to leave the page. They can just simply click on the button and they're instantly following you. So really low friction. It's also really easy to implement on your website. It does give it to you in code. So if you don't know code, I would suggest getting a developer to help you with this. But if you do know a little bit of code, really easy to put straight into your website. So here I am on my personal website, benjiblue.com, and I'm gonna show you exactly where I've put this Instagram follow button, which is www.instafollowbutton.com. Actually, I can show you that right now. Instafollowbutton.com. So you'd come to this page, you'd sign in with the Instagram account, and first of all, you can design what, you're, what you want your button to look like, which is up here, large. Do you want it to show how many followers you have or not? Uh, do you want it to show your username or not? And then what you do is you copy the HTML and the JavaScript into your website, and it'll simply pop up, similar to the one I have just put into my website sidebar right here, right here on the side. So I can follow the account by just clicking this button. Uh, it shows my follow account to the right of it and it, as you remember it's just a one click follow you are now following benji.blue so really low friction and really really convenient for people to follow you when they're looking on your website they like what you do and they want to see your pictures on Instagram the second dot point is if you have a guest post or blog post for somebody else's website always leave your Instagram handle there or your Instagram button so that people can go and follow you on Instagram if they like what they've read. It's a really low friction way of converting someone else's traffic to an Instagram follower for your business, which over the long term will be a customer for your business. Number three is if you ever put out any YouTube videos or video content on any platform, make sure you annotate it and write in the description where they follow you on Instagram. A lot of people will actually give the video and at the end, they talk to the screen and they say, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I am Benji Blue or at Benji Blue. And they give the call to action at the end of any video content they put out there. And they also leave it in the description and on the annotations just to make sure that people know where to find them on Instagram. This is a recurring theme. So as you know, like guest blog posts, YouTube videos, any content that you put out there is a great avenue for advertising your Instagram account. So any slide shares, any YouTube videos, any guest blog posts, any media or any content that you put out whatsoever, make sure you have your Instagram handle on there. It's a slow build over time, but these things stay online, they stay on YouTube, they stay on other people's blogs, and people will constantly be reading your content or watching your content and taking the call to action over the long term. Number four is any social media account that you have is a great way to cross promote to your Instagram profile. I've said it a couple of times in this course, but a lot of people do assume that people who follow them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter will follow them on Instagram as well. It's not the case. Quite often people don't know it exists. So it is really important that you cross promote between all of your social media accounts, making sure you have everybody following you everywhere. So here I am on my Twitter page, which is Benji Blue with two E's and the pinned tweet, which means the tweet that stays at the top of my newsfeed, advertises my Instagram account. So anyone who comes and sees my profile, this is the first thing they see if they look at my tweets. 
And so I leave a link right here so they can click that, go straight to my Instagram profile and then follow me from there. So one more idea for advertising your Instagram account offsite, offsite means off of Instagram, is inside your physical store or any physical outlet that you may have, might be a market stand, anywhere you get foot traffic and potential customers, is a great opportunity to try and convert them to following you on Instagram. Now, it's pretty simple to do this. A lot of people just have a sign next to the register or the checkout or even in a shop window promoting their Instagram accounts. And what's important here to note, as you can see in the brackets underneath all five of these dot points, I've said, remember to add value, meaning in exchange for someone following you on Instagram, they need a reason to. So you need to add value first, and then people will follow you and give you value second. So something like having a button on your website, you've already given value by having a really cool website that people like, so people are inclined to follow you. Same as YouTube videos, you put out a good video, people might want to follow you. Other social media accounts, people are already familiar with you, but you could say, for example, in a tweet, check out all my awesome pictures here, meaning if you want to see awesome pictures about me, you're going to have to go to Instagram. You're adding value there by only having their pictures on Instagram. Inside a physical store, you may offer a discount coupon or something just to make sure that you convert people from standing there next to the register to following you on Instagram. Instead of just having the handle of your Instagram account in there, you're far more likely going to convert them if you say, follow us now and get 5% off your order. So that's it for Offsite. I hope you guys can come up with a few of your own suggestions too, just to make sure that the marathon strategies for your business account are always there and always growing your account while we focus on the shorter term strategies, which I'll explain to you now.